Testing one, two, three. Mic check one, two, three. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. <laughs> you're on, you're on, you're on. Okay. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, joining us live. Come on in the room. Happy hump day. Yes, happy hump day, everybody. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. Come on in the room. Man, this is going to be a good one. I'm excited about this one. A uh, lot of things going on in the world, right? A <laughs> lot, of, lot of interesting things happening in the world, right? How many people, uh, you know, as you're joining in, man, the world news has been very interesting. A lot of, a lot of things happening uh, in the world. And so uh, what a time to be talking about Jesus. Yes. <laughs> what a time to be talking about Jesus. <laughs> so come on in. Uh, if you're joining us from YouTube or <coughs> Facebook, go ahead and let us know in the comments. Come on in the room. Man, we're talking about The Chosen, episode five, season one. Man, absolutely incredible. All right. Uh, you know, while people are joining, uh, we had the opportunity this week to uh, to go to the great city of New Orleans. Wonderful, wonderful time in the great city of New Orleans, not New Orleans as they called it, and uh, finally got hooked up to some really, really good food. My, my, I don't think my wife want to talk about the food. <laughs> well, we had a great time, had a great time. And we ate good, praise God. (laughs) (laughs) Amen. So if you're here, let us know. uh, How do we sound? How do we sound? How do we look in? How are we looking? How are we coming through on tonight? On Wednesday night. With L and L. We still haven't found out, found a, a name or decided on the name yet. Good evening, good evening, good evening, Michelle is here. Welcome, welcome, thank you for joining us, welcome. She is here with us, uh, coming from Facebook, I see her. Good evening, Michelle, hey, Michelle. Good evening. (laughs) Our neighbor Stonehaven is in the building, welcome, 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 excited to see you here. If you're here uh, and you're joining us from YouTube, go ahead and let us know in the comments that you're here. Listen, while you're here, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, get this uh, get this post and video a like. Hey, Judy is here. Hey, our cousin hey, Judy. is here. Welcome, 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 welcome. Amen. Michelle says, "Hey, Linda." Hi. <laughs> uh, yes, our, our people are joining and jumping on. And while you while you're liking the uh, a video and the stream, go ahead and share it to your page. Share it for your friends and loved ones, and tell a friend to tell a friend. Come on, jump on. Come on, get on, uh, join us here uh, for this great conversation that we're having. Uh, you know, I think it's helpful every week for us to go back and just talk about why we are doing this and, and, and our purpose mm-hmm. for doing this as, as people are starting to join us uh, to help them understand the mission uh, and the goal uh, that we have here with I get what we'll name this <laughs> soon enough with this uh, podcast, this Bible study. It would already be named if it was up to me, but somebody, <laughs> you know, I got to yeah, go there. Uh, I'm waiting for the name to speak to me a little bit more. So we're, we're going to come up with a name, but um, let's, you know, I wanted to and it, talk about a little bit mm-hmm. um the purpose again, uh, I believe at the top of every broadcast, it'd be great to let people know. Cause some of them just kind of tuning in and mm-hmm. getting to know our content and, and getting to know what, I, what we're doing, what you, what you want to say? You no, I was say? just, I was just going to say, no, we're, we're new. And, um, you know, so it's just, we're just, um, starting out so <laughs> you know so yeah yeah forming, so. yeah yeah so this thing is is going to become what it's going to become and we're excited about it um and so uh we wanted to it was in our heart to you know get started and, and step out on faith and, and and 
uh, add our voice to what's going on in the world uh, and bring our attention back to the word of God. And so uh, in the first episode, if, if you haven't had a chance to go and see our first broadcast uh, now, a little over a month ago now, we're in, we're in episode five of this and um, we have been uh, discussing the chosen. And so uh, some might say, well, why y'all looking at, why y'all talking about the chosen? Well, we wanted to leverage the opportunity of this great production uh, to introduce, um, introduce our community to the chosen. And we, we realized that quite a few of us uh, have not had the opportunity to see it. Uh, but we wanted to take the opportunity to leverage this great production visually. Uh, myself as a, uh, as a preacher and teacher of the gospel, as well as a creative uh, photographer, filmmaker. Uh, these things are, are, are fit uh, perfectly with my uh, personality and the, the passions and the, and the, and the uh, you know, the skills that I, I've been able to acquire over the years and, and utilize these two loves uh, to help us tap back into our imagination uh, when it comes to the word of God. So we could, you know, a lot of times, you know, as we've grown, we've kind of lost our imagination for things. So as we journey into the word of God, it is my desire, my hope, uh, and our hope uh, that you would engage your your imagination again, like a child, like we talked about uh, Jesus loved the little children. One of the <coughs> things that he loves about children is uh, the sense of wonder and uh, the sense of, of exploration and, uh, and curiosity uh, that comes with the imagination. Mm -hmm. And so as we read these biblical texts, as we read these, uh, uh, these gospel narratives so that we can engage our, per our, um, our imagination so that we might be able to visualize uh, the mind of God, which is the word of God to visualize God's mind and God's thoughts and Jesus's mind and Jesus's thoughts about us and the things in, uh, and as it relates to the world as well. Um, and so what we thought, what greater opportunity than it will be to take uh, a production that is already going forth, that is sweeping the nation and the world um, and utilize it as a conversation piece to walk us through the scriptures. And now we always say, what do we always say? Uh, baby about uh, the chosen. Um, oh, that is just a supplement, not yes. just I don't say it like that, but it was, it's a supplement to yes. the Bible that is not, it doesn't replace the Bible. That Absolutely. is that it's a supplement to the Bible. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So by using this uh, production and in, in this uh, excellent series uh, to kind of walk through, to open up conversations uh, not only uh, from a scriptural standpoint, uh, talking about the scripture itself, but digging digging into the lives of the characters in the scriptures, not just Jesus, but also his apostles and and situations and the different nuanced uh, circumstances that they will find themselves in, and how Jesus number one reacted and responded. Uh, and how his disciples reacted and responded and utilize it to find lessons that we could extract to add uh, to our lives, our everyday lives, extract the lessons from these episodes. And that's what we've been doing from week to week is using these episodes as a conversation piece to talk about kingdom uh, narratives, to talk about kingdom principles, uh, uh, kingdom behavior, the expectation of Christ the King. And so by utilizing this presentation visually, it will allow us to engage our imaginations and then put ourselves in scenarios uh, that were similar and, uh, and see how the Christ in us should respond. And so, uh, again, that's why uh, we've chosen uh, <laughs> a play on words chosen uh the chosen as an opportunity uh to share the gospel and to drive us back to falling in love with the word of god again amen uh to inspire and promote uh biblical literacy uh 
we find quite often uh, that uh, a, a mass majority of people are uh, a church illiterate, um, but biblically illiterate. And so we want to be a resource to bridge the gap uh, to more biblical literacy uh, so that uh, there's congruence in our lifestyle, right? And in everything that we do, there's congruence in uh, the things that we profess and that we declare and we preach that uh, we be the epistles that men read. And so that starts by us having a healthy understanding uh, of a biblical worldview, having a healthy understanding of the word of God uh, as, it, as it is written. And so that is our endeavor with these episodes um, is to drive us back to a love for the word of God, drive us back to a love uh, for Jesus once again. And so welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome, Deborah. Hello, thanks for joining us. Yes, yes, right. thank you, thank you, thank you. So, that being said, y'all, y- you ready to jump into this? Yes, <laughs> My lovely wife is ready to jump in this. Well, as always, uh, we're going to start off with the scripture because the story, uh, chapter, no- uh, well, episode number five, places us um, at the wedding of Cana. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is where Jesus... Uh, performs his first public miracle. Uh, this is an epi- uh, epic episode, in my opinion. Um, things are really starting to heat up, and so um, a lot of things start happening in this in this episode uh, that we're going to go through. But before we get there, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to jump in the word. And before we get there, we're going to ask that if you're joining us uh, for the first time, uh, grace and peace, Deborah. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, please give us give us a like if you're on Facebook and if you're on YouTube. Listen, if you also have the ability to switch between the two, some of our, our Facebook people, uh, join us. Also, follow us on uh, our uh, our YouTube page as well and, and hit the uh, notification bell so that every time we post a new video or we go live, you will be informed instantly. So, uh, so in Facebook, go ahead and share it, uh, share it with your friends, share it to your profile, invite your friends, your family, uh, to jump in and join the conversation. <coughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So let's go to the word of God. So today's episode places us in, uh, John chapter two, John chapter number two. Mm-hmm. And many of you remember this, you could take the opportunity to read this, um, this particular Verse right here, um, where Jesus ch- changes the water into wine. Yes. So I'm going uh, to have my lovely <coughs> wife to go ahead and read that verse for us. Okay. <laughs> so, um, John t- chapter 2, verse 1. Mm-hmm. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to her, woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. Wow. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. Mm. Let me stop. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep All right. going. Now there were set there six water pots of stone according to the manner of purification of the uh, Jews containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece. Mm-hmm. Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, draw some out now and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it and they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not uh, know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom. And he said to him, every man at the beginning sets out the good wine. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior, Mm -hmm. you have kept the good wine until now. 
This beginning of the signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory and his dis- disciples believe in him. Yes, that's it. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 So we, we're familiar with this uh, particular story. If you spend any length of time. Good evening. My sister Shari is here. Welcome. 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 Uh, the wedding at Cana. Uh, so this is, this is where the story, uh, where the story uh, enters, but it is not where the presentation uh, happens in episode five, episode five, uh, the wedding uh, gift uh, starts with uh a flashback. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the flashback for a second. Cause that was a powerful moment not to be missed. Uh, again, once again, the, 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 the writing, uh, the storytelling is absolutely impeccable. Uh, and there, there are some details that they utilize in this presentation. That's absolutely, absolutely out off the chart. So the scene opens with uh, 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 Jesus is 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 uh, he's not lost, but his parents have gone on a three days journey ahead, and uh, before they recognize that Jesus is not with them, it was after Passover. Yes, which is kind of cool because we just came through Passover. Yes, week, yes, but, yes, yes. Yeah, they were going back home, and they realized that mm-hmm. he wasn't with them. Yeah. So they realize that he's not with them. And uh and what I love about uh the, the the presentation is that it shows a frantic mother uh looking for Jesus. A frantic mother uh looking for her son uh after realizing uh they had, they had left him behind. <laughs> and 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 so I love that this uh this this uh presentation shows the humanity of Mary uh as a real mother even though uh she was the mother of Messiah. Uh she was a real mother. And you can see the frustration, you can see uh you you can see the the the, the angst in her face, you can see you know, you can see all that she was dealing with uh after realizing she had left her son somewhere. So, um, what what was it that stood out to you in that scene? Well, I thought it was funny. I think I mentioned said this briefly to you the other day, mm-hmm. or earlier today. Um, hold on, I'm getting some instructions. Oh, okay, there you go. I was just trying to send to you. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, that's <laughs> probably the way I'm sitting. On it. Okay. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I thought it was funny. You know, me being who I am and being a former um, middle school teacher. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's typical middle school, te- middle school. Right. <laughs> He's 12 because he was 12 or so. <laughs> right. So I kind of went there with it a little bit. You right. know, like he's, yeah, I, I was like, how ironic or, you know, it's the, in the word, I believe. Some, mm-hmm. one, and one of the gospels, it talks about his age mm-hmm. and, um, and, you know, that typical behavior of a quote unquote behavior of a, mm-hmm. You know, a, a kid going through puberty, doing right. stuff just, just going to make you, you know, all upset mm-hmm. or whatever, you know, just like, oh, my gosh, you know, driving your parents crazy. So I thought about that and kind of got a, got a laugh out of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, mostly um, when we – so I know I mentioned this before um, that The Chosen, they have a lot of behind-the-scenes um, stuff. They have a lot of roundtable talks and mm-hmm. different things, just all kinds of – little videos you can watch. And I, I I don't remember what I watched, but I remember them talking about that. This was the first um, introduction to Mary. Mm -hmm. And so that, I thought that was interesting too, to introduce her like that. Right. um, As a frantic mother, Mm -hmm. you know, just the human, the humanity of it all. Yeah. Um, And even the little, just the little things like when the man said to her, why are you by yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that obviously was a cultural thing. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Why are you by yourself? And um, and so we later learned mm-hmm. about how women weren't allowed in the temple right. during that time. And he was with his father and even certain men were only allowed at 
you know, parts of the courts of the temple. Correct. So there's so many, right. so much layers to yeah. uh, the culture at that time. Right. And um, so that was, that was an interesting piece for me. Yeah. Cause uh, there was, uh, if, if you had done any study of uh, the, the temple, mm. uh, there was a court called the court of the women. And so they, they wanted to be clear to distinguish and, and show that experience uh, that there was indeed uh, some separation. Uh, if if anybody was going to go in to retrieve him, mm-hmm. it was going to be his father, uh, who who we see in the episode, mm-hmm. uh, finds him. Um, and he was found where the men would be. Uh, you know, in fact, uh, Joseph was so taken by the experience he was like he he was in there teaching them and confounding yes. them and, mm-hmm. and 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 uh 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 you know uh blowing their minds as it were and so he was very 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 um you know very very surprised and very uh marveled at that mm-hmm. and, and and you know that 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 bears the mind that you know both of them clearly knew who he was mm-hmm. right uh but it did not stop their humanity um, as far as being concerned uh, with with Jesus as their child, right, right, and uh, Jesus's response, um, I know sometimes we read it and 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 it almost seems a little flippant, um, but uh, but when you look at this, it, it really was not. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, uh, "Didn't you know?" <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know I was in my father's house? Mm-hmm. Uh, this scene was powerful. Uh, we've read it a number of times. We've read it over and over. Uh, we've read it a ton of times. And then to see this presentation of it, uh, the honesty in his face, mm-hmm. uh, the 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 really surprise. It's, just, it's like his anticipation was that, they will understand that that's where he was. <laughs> right. Cause what he said was, he was like, didn't you know I was with my father? And she's like, well, why weren't you were supposed to be with your father? Yeah. 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 And yeah. He said, yeah. No, I was in my father's house. In my father's house. And then she's like, Oh, like, Oh yeah. I forgot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You are the, oh, God. you that, know, that, that father. Yeah. That father, you that, know, like you was in what his do you house. What do you do with that? <laughs> yeah. What do you, <laughs> what do you do? With what that? do you do? <laughs> What do you do? Yeah. So yeah. So that was that was. And he was so like you said he was innocent. Yeah. yeah. You know and and everything about it. So yeah. But his father and that was, I feel like that was an introduction to Joseph as well. Yes, it, yeah. it definitely, it absolutely was an an introduction to to Joseph as well. It's the first time we get to see them and they're both frantic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah. both of them. First of all. uh, you left your son uh, a three day, three days, <laughs> three days into the journey. We're calling the people on them. We're calling the people on them in this day. We call it a people. <laughs> no, but yeah. 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 But something amazing happens. Mm-hmm. Something amazing. Speaking of mothers, my mama's here. Hey, mama. Oh, hey, mom. Hey. <laughs> my mama on TV. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, something amazing happened. Hey, JC, how's it going, man? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for jumping on here and and rocking with us tonight. Uh, So something incredible happens, and and I I don't want us to miss that. If if you watched episode five, go ahead and uh, type it in the chat. I watched it. Um, Something amazing happens. Mary begins to plead with uh, Jesus, Mm -hmm. right? Because once she began to understand and and recall whose son this is, Mm -hmm. uh, she was like, I'm going to need some help, Mm -hmm. right? You remember those words? Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, I'm going to need you to help. Yeah, help us. Help us get through this. Yeah. Together. Yeah, together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a moment. That that was a moment. That was a real moment. Yeah, that was a moment. And you could tell by I love how it was shot because um throughout and and if you watch episode 5, 
Um, and if you watch any of the episodes where Jesus and his mother was, uh, was interacting, um, there is this, there is this human communication going on. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, and then, and most of it is nonverbal. Yes, that's true. Right. And there's this gaze and there's this look, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, nonverbal communication between them that's happening. Uh, and, um, and then he says to her, um, oh, if not now, mm-hmm. then when? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that right there? Mm-mm-mm. Now, Now, you have to hold on to that part right there, right? Because right. the scene shifts into what will be their present, their day. present day in Cana mm-hmm. uh, on their way uh, to canna for this wedding mm-hmm. right and uh let's talk about that a little bit you 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 recall some some details that stood out to you well before we go there we yeah. got to talk about peter and um <laughs> eden <coughs> oh yes and, oh um, yes them, yes know, we do peter arriving back to the house and eating oh know. that's a big part i can't act <laughs> Can't believe was, uh, I almost missed that, but go ahead. Yeah, it was uh, crushing the grapes. And, yeah. Uh, oppressing yeah. the grapes, I should say, you know, on the, I guess that was the threshing floor. On the floor. threshing floor, yes. And um, that was a, a powerful moment, too. Yes, it was. And I like what they did with that because in the midst of that, they talked about um, their wedding. Yeah, yes. Remember, this is a wedding gift. Right. The theme is wedding gift. And so after he shared with her everything he experienced and, mm-hmm. You know, and she was crying, and he thought she was going to, you know, be upset, but she was totally understanding. Mm-hmm. And um, wait, don't. But what, what, what was she crying about? Because she knew that he, you know, that that the Messiah had called him, that he finally saw him yes. how she saw him. Yes, and she said she met him. As a matter of fact, she's yes. like, that's the man I met. I thought that was I missed wow. that the first time around. Yeah, she's like, that's the man I met. You yeah, know? yeah. So, so it's to level set our viewers in potentially for those who have been watching it yet, just to give them an idea. Um, when Simon comes in mm-hmm. uh, to talk to his wife and tell her about the experience, um, he wasn't sure how she was going to take the calling. Mm-hmm. She thought, he thought her, his response to him responding to the call of Jesus mm-hmm was going to create conflict yeah. in their marriage. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that was powerful. Right yeah. There. I thought that was very, a very important point, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 of emphasis uh, because, you know, t- today people struggle with that mm-hmm. uh, in their, in their, in their, you know, in their marital relationships and in, in covenant relationships, mm-hmm. you know. So I thought that was an important point uh, to focus on and talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, number one, why do you think he was surprised? Um, because of his actions, you know, <laughs> all the way <laughs> leading up. She, he, you know, yeah. he was lying halfway, uh-huh. fishing on Shabbat. His behavior was just erratic. Yeah. You know, she had just fussed at him for, yeah. you know, um, again, break, breaking Shabbat and all the mm-hmm. Sabbath. And, oh, she, so he was like, she's going to kill me. You uh-huh. know? Yeah. Um, so he did not anticipate her, um, even though she, you know, like he thanked her for sending his brothers out there to help him. Right, right. You know, so he knew that she loved him and that he sh- he had her support in the, at that point because they were right. in dire straits. But he's like, I right. don't know if she's going to be able to handle this. Right, you know? right, right. But to his surprise, mm-hmm. her reaction to his response to the call of God, uh, the call of Jesus to follow him was very different. It was. And you could tell that the expression on his face it was prices. He was like, <laughs> but you know, yeah. But you know, when she said it, it was real quick, and you could really miss it. Yeah. You know, I saw him. I, she did say that, right? Mm-hmm. She saw him too. She, that's the man I met. Mm-hmm. She say that. 
You remember that part? It was real quick, and it was yeah, real I might like have pulled that one up because yeah. that might have that might have got past me the second time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's what she said. If anybody seen um, five, it was really quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, it changed his life. He had an encounter with Jesus that changed his life and his marriage and his wife knew it. Yeah, so yes, I thought. absolutely. I, I I thought she said that. If you could get that, fine, maybe because they have like little clips of it. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, Shari said, yeah, she did say that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So she said that, and it's just like Jesus to <laughs> to, to already prepare the wife. Oh, go know? ahead. Say that somebody. <laughs> You know, she was already a woman of prayer. Yes. A woman of deep intimacy with yeah. God at the time, you know. Yeah. Um, so she was already full yeah. and had that working relationship with yeah. the, with God. Yeah. And so he she already he he already took care of that. She was all- <laughs> <laughs> you know, he met she met Jesus. Jesus met with his wife on the side. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah, on yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, in, her, yeah. in, in her alone space. Right, right, right. And already, you know, so she was just full. Yeah. You know, so I love that how God yeah. does he doesn't miss. <laughs> he does you not know, miss. <laughs> and and as a as a as a as a husband, you know, um you, you you always want to know and have that assurance that uh, that your your spouse, your bride, your wife, um, you know, is in agreement with uh, the things uh, that that God, the direction that God is giving you. And it was powerful that she affirmed that mm-hmm. in him and said, you know, finally, somebody that sees you mm-hmm. like I see you. Mm-hmm. That, that was powerful. That was yeah. that was some good. Uh, marriage advice. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that was that was some good wedding uh, 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 marriage material for 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 those who are married and those who are seeking to be married as well. You know, another thing, um, everything about that scene too. Because think about it, mm-hmm. we know what happens at the wedding, right? We're gonna. Right. I want to jump ahead, but we know what happens—the miracle yes. that he performs. Yes, and then flipping back to. Eden crushing the grapes. Mm, yeah. Come Ooh. on. You know. <laughs> yeah, because it was foreshadowing. Yeah. Again, excellent, e- excellent cinematography, excellent filmmaking, and it it just builds on top of things. Yeah. So so the whole deal with um the whole thing with them having this conversation while she's crushing grapes and yeah. producing wine. Come on. <laughs> that 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 thing was powerful. I was like the whole time. <coughs> right. She never got out of the threshing floor. And then invited wash your feet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> so wash your feet. So many levels of prophetic insight in there that was just so powerful. Uh mm-hmm. that is not to be missed. Now y'all yeah. know, you know, y'all know me. I I'm going to pull that prophetic out of that thing uh every chance i get uh yes indeed sorry mama says she was anticipating the savior to save her mate warrior bride oh mm-hmm. yes indeed oh yeah. yes indeed yeah. yes that that was powerful and so these 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 prophetic moments that are happening it is to me it is 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 so powerful because they could have just kept shooting. They didn't have to choose that motif right. as a backdrop for uh, the conversation that Simon would be having with his with his wife. Mm-hmm. But they chose it, and and I love the intentionality. I love the uh, the prof- the prophetic foreshadowing mm-hmm. of what was to come, and that was pro- perhaps the second foreshadowing that would later get paid off Mm -hmm. at the end of the episode. And we'll talk about that. We won't, we won't go too ahead, but that was amazing that she was, that she was there, uh, you know, in the threshing floor Mm -hmm. and then invited him. Mm -hmm. Wash your feet Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) and join me in the threshing floor. Man, that was powerful. And then only to re- re- 
reflect on their wedding day. Only to reflect on their wedding day. I mean, that was they, that was excellent writing. That, that was that was excellent writing. Bar none. You know, just the, amazing. They were again the wedding gift. Yeah, it was all in that that yeah. whole scene. Yeah, too. <laughs> shoved all in there. You know. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Talking about them, their wedding, their first time. Yeah. And then, oh. yeah, it was crazy. While while producing wine, right? Lord have mercy. And, oh. only, and and then the gift and that and that midst of that was, you know, the lamb himself. He the gift yes. was for him to follow him. Yes, you know? like come on now. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. All right. So, what happens next um, in the episode? Um, Mary. Oh yeah. Uh, goes ahead to Cana. Uh, Mary, yes, yeah, uh, Jesus' so, so, mother. So Mary. Jesus' mother, mm-hmm. Mary, uh, goes ahead to Cana. I, I love how they pull out, uh, you know, uh, the culture uh, mm-hmm. and and how uh, in one of the roundtables they were talking about uh, Mary being, you know, resourceful and and and, mm-hmm. and helpful, mm-hmm. uh, and how she would, yes, yes, Ari says Mary goes to help prep. And uh, uh, in the round table, they, they discuss how um, Mary and the, a number of examples of her uh, going, being resourceful and helping mm-hmm. in situations. And uh, uh, similar, similar to this, uh, uh, she went uh, to Elizabeth's house mm-hmm. and that's when uh, both of their babies left. Uh, she was there to be helpful, to be uh, an attendant to um the older Elizabeth, and here we see her heading to Cana to help uh, make preparation mm-hmm. for the wedding. Mm. My goodness, <laughs> that that it is so much. It's so full. It is. It's so full here. <clears throat> here, uh, 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 as our our Catholic brothers and sisters, Mary, the Mother of God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go and get some practice in preparing. A wedding feast. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely amazing. So what I liked was <laughs> the part uh, where they talked about the hoopa being yes, crooked. Yes, being crooked. Mary yeah. was like, let me help you with this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me help you with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she said, um, you know, she because Mary knew, she like, I speak their language. Yes. Because her whole son was a carpenter. A and whole the, carpenter. You know. Yeah. So she's like, let me help you. She was like, oh, no. You know, but they got it right. Yeah. Later yeah, on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I loved in that moment uh, the level of detail that that Mary had. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then to see that the... Um, the the mother of the I guess the mother of the of the groom of the groom mm-hmm. uh was she was kind of stressing out a little yeah, bit yeah because the 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 husband of the of the bride I mean the father of the bride was yeah. kind of cocky and you yeah know, he was you know they had yeah. money they were well off and yeah. they weren't as well off as them yeah so she was just feeling a little in a way mm-hmm. yeah because weddings is uh it, it's a little bit of pressure mm-hmm. uh, especially uh. You know when uh, it's it's almost like the first time the families are getting mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. in a environment like that. Uh, reputations are on the line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 first impressions, you only get one of them, <laughs> um, and everybody is you know as the host family. You want you know you want to you want to have the best presentation possible to represent your family and. Uh, your family line and everything. And so mm-hmm. there's a lot on the line. So I, I can understand why this woman is, you know, she's kind of stressing and, and to her surprise, here come help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The and lady, it, the lady that came to, uh, that, that, that came to, I guess, bear the message. That was his wife. That was his wife. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she had a list of demands. Yeah, because he kind of wanted a table to himself and some craziness. It yeah, was just, she was like on my on your on their wedding day on 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 our wedding day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say too. I know the wedding gift 
it was a whole lot going on in that, yeah. that being the theme and the wedding gift was really the the wine. Yeah. But as we're talking about Mary, she came as a gift to yes. her friend. You know, yes. she came as a gift to her to help yeah. get, you know, help her out. So yes. I just I didn't want to miss that. Yeah, that's she, that's amazing. I'm mm-hmm. sure that was intentional too. Mm-hmm. Like I think when the <clears throat> writers uh when the writers uh wrote this, uh there were a lot of double entendres mm-hmm. there, were, um, there were a lot of uh, foreshadowing of the same theme being represented so abs- I can absolutely see mm-hmm. um, Mary being a gift uh, to the mother of the groom mm-hmm. in that moment absolutely mama said Mary was positioned Let me move this out of the way I can't to beach anything. Jesus to assist also Okay, I don't see what you see. Oh, it's coming from it's coming from YouTube. Oh. Mama's on YouTube. Come on, YouTube. Praise God. <laughs> All right. And so, yeah, so I don't see it. But, okay. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. Go ahead. So I can see it. You yeah, you will fine, have to yeah. pull up YouTube I'm, to to see it. I'm, but um I'm putting it on the I'm on, on the I'm screen. Going you going back and forth. Yes. Yeah, sorry so, about that. Y'all. <laughs> that's all right. We are getting these details together. So yeah. if you look on the screen, you see you see a comment right there. Uh, on the actual broadcast, okay. there you go. All right, so um, so she comes and she helps her get uh, the wedding, uh, to get the hoopa together. The hoopa, uh, they agreed it was perfect. They started to dress it and everything, mm-hmm. and then uh, scene transitions. We ha- yeah, so this is the kind of gets where it gets funny with Simon. You know, it's never a dull moment with him. <laughs> <laughs> Like the 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 gentleman who plays him, I forget his real name. Um, he's just he's doing he 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 really did that well. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, he did. All of them, they were just they all captured these characters yeah. as best as they could, and they've done yeah. a great job. So <laughs> the, the scene went to him and his brother Simon and Andrew walking to go wait, meet Jesus, wait, right? Wait. No, no. Or was it the, the scene Thomas goes and, to Thomas and um, Raina? No, the the scene goes to. Um, it goes to uh, Nicodemus and John the Baptist. Oh, oh yes. Now, I, I listen. That scene right there. <laughs> we we got to get into this right, uh, because uh, we talked about last week uh, uh, John the Baptist just a little bit. Uh, but John the Baptist. Uh, I love how they positioned this. Uh, I love how they positioned this uh, kind of confrontation. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, Nicodemus and John. Uh, I love how they positioned this, uh, this discourse, this, this interaction. Uh, because Nicodemus is still uh, wrestling. Uh, he's, he's in search of. He's in search of Jesus, uh, but he don't know it's Jesus yet. Um, as we saw in episode one, uh, he has this encounter uh, with Mary Magdala, and she's demon-possessed, and he was not able to cast the devil out. In fact, that devil sent him packing. <laughs> and to find out word when he saw her that she was redeemed, that she was healed, that she was freed, that she was delivered— he had to find out that thing was haunting him. Mm-hmm. He had to find out what was going on and he was not sure who did it. So when he heard about John the Baptist, uh, he told Rabbi Shmuel on the last, um, the last uh, episode, mm-hmm. you know, not to, you know, keep that kind of between them mm-hmm. because Nicodemus wanted to do his own research because Nicodemus had his own reasons from wanting to understand who it was that freed her, right? Mm -hmm. This occurred to me today. Both John and Nicodemus are priests, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Born into the line of priesthood. So both of them, uh, realistically, by, by profession, and, and and by lineage would be 
brothers of sort. They will be colleagues mm -hmm. in the same vocation as priests. Mm -hmm. But they represent two different paradigms of the of the priesthood. Mm -hmm. One uh shrouded in comfort, mm -hmm. but but instructors as well. But even down to the detail of their clothes, John wore camel's skin, mm -hmm. camel's fur, right? And Nicodemus was dressed in the finest of linen. Yes. I, I don't so you see this contrast that's going on right there, right? Right. Go ahead. I, I don't want you to forget what you said earlier. You said two dispensations. Yes. We're facing off. Yes. It was, yes, literally a face off. Between, between two different dispensations, a dispensation of uh, of law and a dispensation that came to introduce grace and to prepare the way for grace. Mm -hmm. And one was behind bars. Oh, my. <laughs> and the other was not. Mm -hmm. One was one was locked up for the calls that he came to set the way for. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the other one was free trying to discover whether or not John was the greater one or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, this great paradigm, this great uh, 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 conflict ensues upon the screen that my, my head was, I was like, yo, <laughs> this you 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 got to have the Holy Ghost to write this kind of script right here because <laughs> now now to to our to our uh to our uh Bible scholars and and and, and everything, we want to note that these uh are not uh shown as to be quote unquote actual events. Some right. of the, some of the it's used uh as what we call extra biblical uh material to uh to talk about perhaps what could have happened. Mm -hmm. What might have happened in those times, so uh, so uh, we're not we're not suggesting that that those uh, and neither is the, um, the director the director uh, suggesting that. So he's just using it to 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 tell to tell the story, right? Like what I was going to say is, yeah, um, the director he does a great job. If you all have the app, I would highly recommend you go and watch the roundtable talks. Yes, because he actually has um, biblical scholars mm -hmm. as as um, counsel. Yes, when he created these these episodes. Yes, he ultimately listened to God and did what God said to Absolutely. do. Absolutely, but he did have um, godly counsel. Godly counsel. Yes, um, while he was creating this. Yes, so they had they had similar. Well, their conversations are way. You know, more <laughs> scholarly, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. they talk about different things too. So I would yes. highly recommend watching the behind the scenes and the round tables, which is in the app as well. Yes. Um, just for your learning and, and just absolutely to be for the insight. It's, it's really good. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. And, and the, the great thing before we jump back into the episode is that, uh, the, the council that he has is actually a, uh, uh, a uh, a Catholic priest, mm -hmm. a, a ten year Catholic priest, uh, also a uh, uh, an Orthodox Jewish uh, Jew, and a uh, a certified and uh, evangelical evangel uh, decorated evangelical scholar, mm -hmm. uh, all weighing in on uh, each some episode, of his, each, episode, each and, episode, and 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 some of the creative choices. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as to whether or not they're plausible or not, right. and what would be a stretch and what wouldn't, and and how uh, the depiction actually helps uh, color uh, and, and make fuller the story for the individual uh, from a hi historical perspective, from a cultural perspective, and from a theological perspective. So, understand and know that there are, there are, there are definitely guardrails around. Uh, the storytelling, mm -hmm. uh, so um, so we're safe with that. Yeah. So back to this um, this reckoning of sorts <laughs> behind bars. Uh, you have, uh, Lord, I want to play a clip. Well, go ahead, pull it up. Can I play a clip? 
Yes. Let me, let me cue this clip up a little bit and, and just talk about it a little bit uh, from your standpoint while I'm, I'm queuing up this clip for us to watch. Uh, what what was powerful to you, what, what you saw? Well, um, you said a lot of it, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think the entire time, you know, it's just – for me, it's fascinating to watch Nicodemus processing every, everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. him trying to f- figure this thing out because yeah. he's the teacher of teachers. You know? Yeah, yeah. And um, he's trying to, you know, figure it out. Um, and then going, John was just, <laughs> <laughs> he was not, uh, you know, um holding any punches he wasn't taking he was just no he like, was not he was like come on when he started mm-hmm. explaining the scripture to him don't you quote me solomon <laughs> he got all upset you know yeah. john was like when he was trying to figure out who john was and he yes. started telling him didn't such and such come and pave the way for mm-hmm. this one and that one and mm-hmm. john was just like over him and 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 so that was pretty funny to me but um but i think for, but you know what stands out the most is um Nicodemus's just his whole posture and his whole yeah. I mean this thing was his mind was boggled he just could not yeah figure it out but I it just says something about the way what kind of um student he still was even yes. though he was a teacher of teachers he's like oh wait a minute there's still lots to learn mm-hmm. you know there's yeah. there's something I'm missing something right so the fact that he was trying to search it out yes was um I think that was a great um you know, a, a great part of that process or how they captured that him trying yes. to search this thing out and not, um, because the other, uh, Pharisees, they were like, Oh, you know, they were just so vexed by it all. Yeah. Cause they were offended. Yeah. And offended. You right? know, they were offended. They, he called they, us vipers. Well, talking about with John, he called yeah. us vipers and yeah. all that. So, yeah. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to play a couple of minutes of this episode for us. Uh, so that we could kind of see what's happening here. And what I'm going to do is switch it from, uh, switch it from the Bible um, and share on the screen. I believe it's going to give us the ability to, there we go. see this episode a little bit because this this is powerful right here this is powerful right here i love this episode this this moment right here is sort of like to me a, a clash of the titans you got you got two paradigms that are facing off and i just love it you. <laughs> Are you adding those to my list of infractions? Only a fantasy. You would have labeled Moses a uh, lunatic for talking it. to a well, shrub. It, yeah. Do you consider yourself to be like Moses? Oh, I got it on laptop. Says John knew by the spirit that Nicodemus didn't get. Tell me about your ministry. As he was school only in the law. You remember when Caesar yeah. traveled through mm-hmm. Judea? Yes. Right. He sent all these men to clear logs and to breathe for the coming king. Make straight the way for the king, they'd shout. Prepare the way. The roads yes. in Jerusalem do not have the same problem, the but I remember king. the visit. I had to move. Make straight the Romans way not kind to the homeless. Lost all my possessions. Many in Jerusalem were frightened as well. Oh, they were lucky to have you to comfort them. For a price, of course. Should we be clearing the road for you, John? Is that the point of this story? I don't like your frock. The cost of the vestments alone could feed three children in Nazareth for a month. Do you hail from Nazareth? Hmm? And Jericho, and Bethlehem, Jaffa, Hebron. I see. Well, you have a new home now. Whatever your mission was, I hope you completed it. Thought you were here to ask about miracles. 
But first, I wanted to tell you of a miracle that I've seen, but cannot comprehend. And then to make accusations. This is pointless. Clearly, you are not a frothing madman, but every bit as unreasonable. You imprison me and accuse me of being ill-tempered? I am it. not your captor. Do you not understand? This is a Roman cell. <laughs> I came here to speak to the warden on your behalf. On my behalf? <laughs> Why are you really here, old man? The official reason? I love this interaction. You are a Jewish citizen. If you have broken Jewish law, it sets a dangerous precedent to allow Rome to adjudicate. Uh, and the real reason? The truth? I am far from home. I am looking in places I would never go because I am searching for an explanation for something I... I cannot unsee. No one else knows you're here. My God. Tell me from the beginning. Okay, so that that's probably that's probably all we can show. Without uh getting getting kicked off of YouTube, that that was amazing. It's still that, playing. That, it's still playing. Nah, you're probably seeing it still playing, but uh, we're not on it anymore. Oh. Yeah, there's a lag in um. There's a lag in in YouTube. In YouTube, uh, let's see. Let me cut back to you. So let's talk about that that episode that that scene right there. That that was powerful. I had to get that turn back on. Oh, what happened? Your camera went off. Yeah. Okay. So, what are your thoughts? Somebody, feel free to write in the chat. Anybody? You know, anyone can write something. I'm going back before. Back and forth between Facebook and YouTube. Let's see. Just keep talking to us. Okay. <laughs> so while someone's. <laughs> Handling some technical difficulty. No, um, but yeah, so again, Nicodemus is trying to process the miracles or the miracle that he saw. He just, he's like, oh, only God could have done this. And John's like, tell me it from the beginning. <laughs> I thought that was funny too. Yeah, yeah. He's like, tell me, tell me what happened. Tell me what you saw. So, simply amazing. Simply amazing. Anyone else have any feedback you can share in the chat? About how we watched. Anybody, who's watched episode five? And if you watched episode five, put in the chat episode five or a thumbs up or something. Yep. So yeah. Yeah, so um I don't see anything yet, but anyway, but yeah, so that scene was really powerful. Um I like the creative the creative the creativity um that they took to 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 make that scene. Okay, I got a couple thumbs up. Hey Stella, you watched it, yep. Um, you know what I love about these episodes too? They, some of them are short, but powerful. I mean, all of them are powerful, but they just like really powerful. They tell the story in like 35 to 40 minutes and then leave you hanging. So you can't help but to binge watch the rest of another five episodes. <laughs> so 
this one, like the other ones, moved, you know, um, ended that way and, and, and had you sitting on the edge of your chair. So, but yeah, so I'm glad to know a couple of you watched it. That's awesome. So, um, Stella and Shari, so, yes, yep, so, um, yeah, we'll put in the chat what stood out to you. Oh, mom says Nicodemus was desperate to know the source of what he saw. Oh, yes. Yes, he was. Desperate to see the source, to, to, um, hold on. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he was desperate. Desperate. And, you know, and when, when you, that makes me think of how desperate are we? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> when it comes to the word of God mm-hmm. and in our relationship with him, mm-hmm. how desperate are we to pursue him? Yes. Okay, I think that's connects to what I was saying about Nicodemus and his um process you know him trying to process this thing but how desperate are we <clears throat> to pursue God to pursue um to pursue him to pers- to pursue a a revelation or something that happens like what Nicodemus saw a miracle um or not or we're just just for the love of the word like we talked about with this whole podcast is based on falling back in love with the word of God. I think that's, um, and you know, like I, we shared earlier, we met people who said that, the, you know, the chosen has made them go back and read their Bibles and things like that. I think, you know, that's, that's key. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, first the Lord, you know, he pursues us and then we, it's a coin. It's like flip it over. Now there comes a time we have to pursue him. So how desperate Nicodemus was desperate. He was going into prisons. He said he was going to places he would never he be would found. He would never go. <laughs> he would never go. <laughs> and he was he was going in the, you know, and then John said, Does any, no one knows you're here? He was like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. He yeah. was very desperate. He took yes. his thing off his head. I don't know what the appropriate name of yeah. that is. He took that off of took his off head. His yarmulke. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um it was just like Yeah. He, he was, was he was desperate. He was desperate. Uh he 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 snuck into the prison. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you could tell he he wanted to make sure he had um all the correct intel. Yes. Um, I'm sorry, that part. Yeah, how far will Will we allow our desperation to take us to simply know mm-hmm. the truth? Mm-hmm. Oh yes, oh yes. Mm-hmm. So now some of y'all are getting a, a a taste of kind of what tore me up about uh, Nicodemus, because man, we talk bad about Nicodemus. Man, I <laughs> I used to call him Tricky Nicky and uh, <laughs> all of the things, right? And then this story just. Just, just wrecked me in a very real way, and so I, I developed a an appreciation, even at this point, for Nicodemus. He wanted to know what was like. Is it you? Mm-hmm. Woo! Powerful, desperate <clears throat> for the word of God. So the scene switches again, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the scene switches, and then now we're. I think we're um, with Raina and Thomas. We're Raina, no, we're Raina and um, uh, well, Thomas. we talked about that. Raina and Simon. No, 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 not Raina. Raina and Thomas. Oh no! Then the next episode. Her name Simon's wife's name is Eden, babe. Eden, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so Raina. that's what that's the scene that opens up after that mm. first jail and. Oh, okay, yeah, after jail. Yeah, so we talked, we talked about, about that already. We talked about um. That already. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really want to show this next part. Uh, after after that scene with Simon and his wife, mm-hmm. uh, it goes back to the scene where Nicodemus and John the Baptist are in there, mm-hmm. and they're going back and forth, mm-hmm. and they're 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 jousting 
uh, through the scriptures. Mm-hmm. They're they're <laughs> they're they're literally jousting, uh, just throwing it back and forth, and 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 Nicodemus getting getting frustrated, <laughs> right? Yeah, because he's literally met his match, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? And as he's explaining to, um, explaining to uh, John the Baptist what's happening, John starts getting excited, mm-hmm. right? And he starts quoting him the scripture. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I believe it's uh, Proverbs 30. Let's, let's, can we find that? It's, it's Proverbs 30. Uh, and it's a powerful verse that he echoes um, that I thought was absolutely incredible story writing right here. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it, it, um, it start, start with verse number four. Let me, let me, let me pull the word of God up. This is the verse that got Nicodemus (laughs) fired up. He was fired up. Start with verse four. If you have your Bible, th- this is the verse that that they read uh, uh, that that John quoted, and he was low key singing it a little bit too. And then he was like, "Finish it." <laughs> he was like, "Finish it." So read read that verse real quick for us. If if you have your Bible, it's Proverbs thirty, and started at verse number four is where John in that prison scene. He's quoting. And it's a prophetic, it is a prophetic proverb. Who has ascended into heaven Mm -hmm. or or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Mm. Who has bound the waters in a garment? Mm. Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if you know? (laughs) That part right there. And then you could tell that that Nicodemus was frustrated. He was so frustrated he missed the second part of that verse. Mm. The second part of that verse was, it, it, yeah, yeah, six questions. The second part of that final verse is what is his name mm-hmm. and what is the name of his son? Whoo, that thing right there. And he got mad. Israel. Israel oh, is he the got, same. Yes. <laughs> Jump into that. Jump into that right there. Now, now, come on now. <laughs> Let me get myself together. <laughs> got me. <laughs> I'm telling you, we had to make a blooper situation. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah, because a lot going on here. Um why, let me ask you this, because I yeah. know you, as yeah. you all can see, Lamont is getting hype about this part. Okay, that's my part right there. He's boy. getting that's... hype about this, this, <laughs> this battle of the, of the dispensations or the yes. whatever you know you want to call it, the two yes. priests. And, yes. And so, why is it important? Why is this so important to you? Like, what, mm-hmm. what is the, what is the, the value of this conversation for you? What. You know, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think there is a conversation that's happening in the world Mm -hmm. uh, right now Mm -hmm. uh, that is happening. And those two paradigms are at work and and that are that are that are uh, jousting right now Mm -hmm. in the global conversation. You have. you have a, a deep well of knowledge uh, and research and information uh, and history mm-hmm. uh, embedded in a legalistic system mm. uh, that has an anticipation for uh, the Christ to arrive in a certain kind of way. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have this, uh, this, outlier you have this uh you have this counterculture you have this uh other dispensation that's operating in the earth uh with greater influence and greater power Mm -hmm. uh that that's important to me because that's what i see existing in the world today 
uh, form of godliness, mm. no power, mm. mm-hmm. right? Uh, the true and living and 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 uh, kingdom demonstration uh, at work in that one. So they they kind of represent what I believe is existing in the world right now. Okay, uh, uh, those who uh, want to uh, break free from the system as it were mm-hmm. uh, that had a form of godliness, but no power. Yeah. And, 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 and we have this sort of like a reemergence, if I will, just, just metaphorically of a John the Baptist mm-hmm. uh, movement that is again here to prepare his return you know, prepared a way for him. So I kind of feel like that was such a glaring prophetic mm-hmm. uh, demonstration, which is why it excites me mm-hmm. <laughs> <coughs> because those that are listening, those who it bear witness in their spirit, mm-hmm. uh, these are the things that are happening. So uh, there's this movement of anti-institution, if you, if you will, uh, from uh, the traditional construct. Uh, and those who are reaching out and are yearning for the true and living uh, word of God. And so that's what mm-hmm. makes this engagement uh, so important to me and so exciting to me mm-hmm. uh, to see it lived out on the screen. Like, again, nothing is new under the sun. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, so his name, he kept asking. He, he was he couldn't take what it. What is his name? He could not take it. And the name of his son. He Good God Almighty. He could not take it. He could not. He could not. Good evening. Great evening, evening Mama Bishop. So what, <laughs> what <laughs> yes, were you going to say about that verse? <laughs> Which verse? <laughs> about, uh, you know, him, you know, what is his name? Were you going to elaborate on that? or no? It was powerful because. You were because, saying because he missed that. He missed it. Yeah, he, he missed he would because you could be so like you know what you know mm-hmm. and, and I think all of us have experienced it before like I read that before I studied mm-hmm. that before like if anybody knows it's the teacher of teachers mm-hmm. and I think for a moment he kind of got in his pride a little bit and didn't even hear out the fullness it was two questions it was actually mm-hmm. the same question twice mm-hmm. in my mind that's how I heard it it was, it was John provoking Nicodemus mm-hmm. to say his name. Because yeah. remember, Nicodemus was trying to say, well, are you? You know, because right. that you're the only person I know around here shaking right. up the institution. Mm-hmm. You're the only one I know around here who who are doing things, and, and you're clearly not a madman. I like that part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He said, you're clearly not a madman, uh, <laughs> but you're equally <laughs> irritating. Yeah. That, 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 that thing was, so, oh, so the laughs. So like, your, yeah. Your mom says, these events, these events are, are the events in the scene um, is of our time. Mm-hmm. She says, Harold from all nations, almighty God and his son, Jesus, moving yeah. to Moving in our world, told of him ages ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It it was it was it was John the Baptist provoking Nicodemus. He was saying, Listen, I'm not worthy to carry his sandals. Like, mm-hmm. it ain't me. Mm-hmm. But he 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 took Nicodemus to the thing that he was most familiar with Mm -hmm. and he missed it. Dang. Well, dang. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how we can at times be taken to the very thing that we know, we know Mm -hmm. and totally miss it. Mm. And what did he say? His son's name was, he said his son's name was Israel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that gives you insight right there into 
even in that time, the the level of entitlement. Oh my. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh, that was in work at work in there, and 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 I would just say, I, I, and I like to say, not to cast a white, uh, a uh, paint broad strokes of uh, Pharisees uh, in general, because uh, as we learned today. Uh, not all of the Pharisees were bad, uh, uh, and they were known to be teachers. Uh, they mm -hmm. were, they were, they were, uh, they were consumed with correctness, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 biblical literacy, mm -hmm. uh, historical literacy. So they were known for that. The knock on uh, some of the Pharisees was the hypocrisy, right? Right. That was known, and so sometimes. Uh, as we learned today, that like a lot of the Pharisees got a lot of bad rap, mm -hmm. uh, but they weren't the aristocracy of the uh, they weren't weren't the aristocrats of the uh, of the order of the uh, Sanhedrin. Uh, the aristocrats were the Sadducees, the, the Sadducees right. who didn't believe in anything spiritual. They didn't believe in a resurrection. They didn't right. believe, they didn't believe in nothing that didn't have nothing to do with that temple with the Torah with Torah, mm -hmm. uh, which was really just protecting their vocation. So they didn't care about people. They, right. they, they stayed distant from people. Uh, they stayed, you know, for uh, cleanliness laws and stuff like that. So, um, so that's why they, they weren't really people, people, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though they served <laughs> in the temple. Right. Ain't that something? That's something. Sound familiar? Mm -mm. Ooh, you work in the temple, but you don't like people. Mm. Uh -oh. oh, God. Oh, God, help us. <laughs> uh, sound like some priest like that still here today mm, mm, mm. lord have mercy mm, mm, mm. all right so uh what happens next let me get your camera back up stand by <laughs> technical difficulties <laughs> we're gonna go to the wide shot on this one baby let me swap out your uh i'm telling you he's the production team he's the preacher he's the teacher <laughs> He can do it all, everybody. I'm just, I'm blessed. <laughs> I got a mixtape coming out. Soon. Yeah, exactly. Got his mixtape coming out. <laughs> so, so wait. So you said my camera's off? Yeah, yeah. I gotta get your camera. Oh, okay. So right now, what people are looking at your empty chair? Is that what's happening? No, they're <laughs> looking at the wide shot. Oh, okay. They're looking at both of them. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I'm telling you, this, this man of multi talents. I tell you, send the Lord of the Harvest. <laughs> send the Lord of the Harvest. <laughs> Gonna send us some help with this production. Okay, so all right, all right, we um, back. Um, so where where were we? Who were you talking so about? So I want to go back to. I can't get away from that that uh that Proverbs thirty. Oh yes, because there's something amazing. He says in the verse that we cannot get away from, right? So he says, <coughs> "Oh, in, in the scripture, the verse." Yeah, 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 what yeah. What is his name? And did you want me to keep reading, no, or just no, no, no? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that that that's it for that one. Um, in that same scene, what happened was um. Um, yeah, so they're, they're having this, this epic battle. Uh, these two paradigms are, 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 you know, the clash of the Titans as it were. Mm -hmm. And Nicodemus has met his match, but John the Baptist is forcing him to perhaps acknowledge and see the thing that he's not certain of. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and John is pressing him and pushing him and challenging him on uh on who it is mm -hmm. uh what's his name mm -hmm. and the name of his son that that's how many times have you heard that preached though how many times have you heard proverbs 30 mm -mm. in that manner no uh but he irritated think of these oh yeah too. it was it was hard no. it was it was rough it, Nicodemus took off his yarmulke, sat down, stood up, sat up. You know, he was just, he was just outdone. But you were talking about um, 
the role, you know, Nicodemus and how he was, you know, different from the other, the Sadducees and he was not. <coughs> yes. Know, um, yes. Yes. Um, Nicodemus was different uh, in that he was a, he was a truly devout uh, teacher. He was, he was in pursuit of the truth. Mm -hmm. He wanted, and it didn't matter if it made him, if, if like it challenged the things that he thought mm -hmm. he just wanted to be certain of it. Uh, even though Rabbi Shmuel and they, and people of his group were more than willing to side with him and his perspective, mm -hmm. uh, because he was so respected. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like the integrity of Nicodemus to still search it out. Cause he could have just written all of it off. Right. Mm -hmm. But because that truth that was on the inside of it, the purity of his heart, to understand the truth of what was going on, he dug deeper. Mm -hmm. He dug deeper, even though he had to go on the solo mission, mm -hmm. uh, because he knew that Rabbi Shmuel, in contrast, his head was, he was totally, you know, to the left. He was totally, like, he was so offended, he couldn't even see or, or search for the truth. Mm -hmm. All he could hear is John the Baptist calling him a, 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 viper. a brood, of, brood of vipers. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's all he could get past. So that's what uh, that's why I think, you know, and as we've seen in all of the episodes preceding uh, Nicodemus's search for the truth. Mm -hmm. That's what he was after. Yes. He just didn't expect to be um, uh, pelted with scriptures and and uh, uh, and no, verses. Did not come there for that. <laughs> yeah. Like like it, it's kind of like. Um, it's kind of like Simon in the last episode who said, you know, I need fish, not a lamb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. Don't hit me with, look, you know, it, it, it was, it kind of had that air on it. It kind of had that spirit on it. I was like, oh, wow. And then, and John just kept driving it home. What is his name and the name of his son? Like it was, he was like. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm throwing you an alley oop here, Nicodemus. Like <laughs> you should know this. Oh, uh, and the more he said it, the more it frustrated Nicodemus. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah. So, uh, so let's get on to the wedding, right? Yes. Uh, so after that scene, um, we get to the wedding. Uh, before we get to the wedding of Cana. We see uh, this this um, interaction between um, Raina, Ra Rayma, and uh, Thomas, Thomas. Mm -hmm. right? And so Rayma and Thomas um, are working for. I, I guess they, they work for the winery. Yeah, her father. Her he's, father. He's the yeah. he's he's the owner of. He's the owner of the winery or the wine press or the wine business. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> I like how uh, uh, Thomas is so, like, exact and precise. It gives us a a, a, a pure into his personality, mm -hmm. uh, being exact. And uh, always, uh, I like how we say uh, uh, in the world today, trust but verify. Mm -hmm. He he was that kind of guy, a trust but verify guy. Mm -hmm. He's another guy that kind of gets a bad rap when we talk about Thomas. We gave him a name too. Mm -hmm. We call him Doubting Thomas. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in a negative standpoint, from a negative place, but uh, as we get to know Thomas a little more, uh, it's a little more nuanced than that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, his doubt uh, is now shrouded in just not believing. It's just... He's used to verify, mm -hmm. right? How many people we know like that? Oh, yeah. Definitely <laughs> <a person. laughs> I am that person. Trust but verify. Verify. Trust but verify. So, uh, so we know the story, right? We went read through it. The uh, the the wedding feast is ongoing. The guests arrive. Mm -hmm. uh, the workers are in the back uh, with their with their vats filled with. Uh, delicious wine. Mm -hmm. All right. And so 
Uh, they taste the wine, uh, particularly the father of the bride, and he is impressed. Mm-hmm. You know, it's something that happen when people get that man of Shabbos in them, boy. They they they, they hold they hold they hold situation change, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, he was lit. You could tell he was his eyes was back. He was mm-hmm. relaxed, and he was talking a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he he talked so much he told the truth. Right, that part, <laughs> the father of the bride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah he was like, you he know, was telling his wife, throwing her on the bus and everything. Oh yes, he did. <laughs> you caught that part. Yes. Oh, he said, I thought you said the hoopoe was crooked. I it thought you fine. said it was crooked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what he boy. say about um? What did he say about um? You know, he was talking about the people. It's like he was talking about his life. He was like, we could be. Uh, a little arrogant yeah. sometimes. Right, yeah. He put his foot in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, he literally told on himself uh, uh, throughout the remaining, uh, throughout it. So, we get to the part, right? Um, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to rush part past this part. But again, you see Jesus with the children. Mm-hmm. Did I see Jesus playing CeeLo with the kids? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't never seen. C- Come on, Philly, don't y'all don't do CeeLo in Philly. Where New York at? New York in the house. <laughs> uh, CeeLo is when they take the card and you know a uh, bottle top or something up under it. Or oh, I didn't they, know that's what it was called. And they shuffle, okay. you know, and then you got to pick, you know, yes, pick where it might have, you know, where you guess it where it is. Mm-hmm. And Jesus was playing with the children. I love that that at the wedding feast, Jesus again, his attention is on the children, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, you look around and you see the var- variety of guests. So what happens is, um, what happens is uh, there's so many guests because Jesus bought his people, right? He mm-hmm. brought his disciples. It's not 12 yet, but uh, obviously over the count that um, the, the, the host of the wedding uh, thought about, right? So, uh, so they start getting nervous. What happens in the back? Um, they start getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Thomas yeah. is about to totally, you know. Yeah, he about to lose it. Fit and um, Jesus, Mary is on the scene. Yes, and she's like Jesus. Yes, they need more wine. We we can't be embarrassed. You know this this can't happen. You know because yeah, gonna, their name gonna be mud in the streets. Uh huh. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, and he was just like. Now I, it's not my time yet. Yeah, and she's like, if not now, then when? Oh, she hit him with the payoff. <laughs> she hit him with the payoff. Yeah. It was powerful, but but oh, then something amazing happened, right? Yes. So uh, Thaddeus, Thaddeus, and Mary Magdalene, they're they're having this discussion. And Peter and Peter or Simon. Or Simon, yeah. he's there, and they're having this discussion about uh how Thaddeus and Jesus had met. Mm-hmm. That was a powerful part. It was powerful. I guess. Oh God, that part was so powerful. And it was silhouetted around the same time. Uh, Jesus. And, and I don't want to go too fast from there too, because something else powerful happened. Um, Thomas is in the room trying to figure out how Jesus, what Jesus is going to do. To fix this problem, mm-hmm. they ran out of wine. Right? They 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 not only out of the good stuff, but they out of the stuff that, you know, the cheap stuff at the end. Mm-hmm. And Thomas is, he's not understanding the instructions. Like right? he not <laughs> understanding, he not understanding what when Mary <laughs> says, "Do whatever he tell you to do." Yeah, he he is not. He's he's like. This this don't make no sense. We're gonna put water. We need water. Not, like, we, need we, wine, need, we need wine, not water. Wine, not water. There we go again. There we go again. There we go again. Mm-hmm. We need we need fish, not lamb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, <clears throat> Thomas. We need wine, not water. Mm-hmm. So stuck in what the problem is, and not aware that of the solution that is right before you. Mm-mm. And I love Jesus' patience. 
Oh, God. Yes, he was a logical brother. A logical brother. Logical thinker. And there's a place and time for that, right? So we're not knocking him for that. Uh, by all accounts, this is his first encounter with Jesus. So he don't really know. If you know, you know. <laughs> right? But now Thomas is in a position to finally know. Oh, my. And he's in the room where this great miracle is about to happen. Shari says, Jesus always knows exactly what we need when in trouble. Exactly. And so, mm -hmm. uh, so Thomas is, has a front row seat uh, to the first uh, public miracle of Jesus. I, I, I think that was important to, to, to mention uh, why everybody else was out of the room but Thomas. And I love the look on his face. I wish we could scroll scroll up to that that point, that the the intensity mm -hmm. in Thomas's face, because he's still very much bewildered. Mm -hmm. He's still very much confused. He still very much don't know what's happening at this point. <laughs> he's like, I, I just don't get it. I, he's just like, there's panic. There's 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 curiosity. There's more panic, like it, everything showed on his face. And so um, as Jesus, <laughs> Jesus says, what does, he, what does Jesus say to in his prayer to the Father? You remember that part? He said, Father. I'm ready. I'm ready. Whoo, that was heavy. That was heavy. That was heavy. Listen. And in the meanwhile. Yes, yes, go yes. Go ahead, go ahead, no, go ahead. I was going to say, when he said that, Thaddeus was describing yes. his job as a stone. Yes. A, a stone cutter. Stone yeah, yeah. Stone cutter. Yeah. And what that meant. Yeah. Stone mason. Start, come on, talk about that because you broke it down real good. So. <clears throat> he talked, well, Thaddeus, let me say this yes. part. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, when you, when you carve that first carving. Mm -hmm. There's no going back. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. And so, so, so the, to, to, oh, and he talked about how the stone is pure. Yes. So it takes on like the, it, what is it? Take on whatever's put into it or something like that. I forget. Because the, so here, here's the because, beauty of because that. Because Thomas whole, made this little slide of remark like water, yes. we need wine. How do yes. you know? But the water and the stone. Yes. So it had something to do with that. I'm messing this all the way up, but no, no, no. I got you. I got <laughs> go you. I got ahead. you. Tag, you're so, <laughs> so notice uh, the the containers that they were looking at to fill up are not the original vats that the uh, the wine that they brought came in. Oh, okay. Okay. See, so I those was, those okay. those those were uh, purification vessels. Gotcha. gotcha. Right. And they are made of a certain kind of stone mm -hmm. and they use it because it, it for all intents and purposes is undefilable. Mm -hmm. And so they put water in the purification water in those particular stone vats mm -hmm. that are made of the exact kind of stone mm -hmm. that Thaddeus was talking about. Lord have mercy. All of these symbols and types, uh, 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 a typology of himself, mm -hmm. right? Uh, who's both the water and the wine. OMG. Lord have mercy. Somebody come he, get me right He now. who contains both the water and the wine. Somebody come chooses get me. for his first miracle oh my. to show how greater he is than Moses who's what turned the turn turned, turned the, the water, water into, into blood. blood okay now Jesus turns the water into wine okay mm -mm -mm. my god my god what what amazing amazing illustration uh what an amazing uh presentation and a starter of a first public miracle mm -mm -mm -mm. you could imagine how toe up uh Thomas was in that moment. Right. I mean, he was, 
He was messed up. And in the background, the whole time, Thaddeus is talking about, again, talking about the process of cutting this stone. Yes. And, and, and it was just prophetic of in that moment what was happening. And the fact that he said, once you make that first carving, you can't go back. So Jesus' prayer yeah. in that moment was, I'm ready. I'm ready. There wasn't no going back from here. No from going there, back. From there. Mm -hmm. You can't turn water into wine at a public event. Mm -hmm. And this, nah, ain't no turning back. Ain't no going back to obscurity. <laughs> ain't no going back to behind the mountain, <laughs> Linda Warren. Ain't no, ain't no turning back. We out here now. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> a whole setup. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That 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 monologue as he was yes, putting he his hand. Yeah, because you gotta listen. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta yeah. watch it you, again. Cause you, it's easy to miss because yes. Thaddeus is just talking, but you gotta but it's yeah. it's like he's talking in the background. Yes. And and Jesus is holding on to the stone. It's almost vessel. like he's prophesying in that moment. It it was just such an amazing bananas. moment. I was I was losing my in time uh, <laughs> in bananas. that moment i was like and and the version that i'm watching like the app i can't you can't pause it and rewind right. on the tv i was just like yo right that's like a pause that moment. is full it was yeah full. yeah full, full, full. A absolutely amazing adrian mm -hmm. so so um that was amazing so the water is then turned to wine mm -hmm. uh the, the Rama takes it out to the, oh, yes. the uh, master of ceremony. Like yes. The person, that I guess he was in charge of you know, organizing the wedding. Yes. And he gives that whole spill about, you know, they usually save the last, you know, uh -huh. the worst wine for last. Right, you know, right, everybody's right. Everybody's drunk and can't right. tell. <laughs> but they've saved the best. And when mm -hmm. Abner yes. tasted it, the father-in-law. Oh, God. He was, he was done. He was done. It was like, this is the best wine I ever tasted in like, my what? entire She's like, what? life. What's wrong? He's uh -huh. like, me. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> it's amazing what wine to do. Yeah. Mm. Me. Oh, Lord have mercy. So, Lord have mercy. And what's the prayer, babe? What, what the prayer? Ah. Oh, right. Great are you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Master of the universe. Yes. Who brings forth the fruit the of the vine. vine. Oh, yes, have mercy. That right there, <laughs> you can't even hear that prayer no more the same. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't even, because I think we've, you know, especially of us Western believers, like we're not used to some of the uh, Jewish prayers and customs mm -hmm. and how full they are. And then when you hear that prayer, and you hear them praying it all the time, you know, in throughout, Shabbat and yeah. throughout, you know, when they're taking the wine and, and they're saying, you know, blessed are you, Lord, master of the universe, mm -hmm. uh, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. It, 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 it changes something on the inside of you. It does something. It does something different when you're making uh, these connections. Yes. And the fruit of the vine. And yes. we, we learned today too, watching the mm -hmm. round table that, in the Catholic Church, yes, they also say a similar prayer. Yes, and and they so the the priest he had mentioned how he could identify with that as a Catholic priest. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that was I was like, wow, okay. So I love the universe, the universality of it, uh, and how uh, similar we are than not. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think what what it helps us to understand again is to not paint people with broad strokes. Um, and, uh, it, it just, it just does something for you to understand that these same groups of people have, have a similar understanding to us of its meaning and its power. Yes, absolutely. A game changer. Yes. So, so yes, yeah, yeah. so that, that yeah. was, that was, that was the gift. That was the gift. <laughs> Like that was the gift right there. Mm, yes, indeed. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, indeed. The fruit of the vine. And then let, we could just go so many places with yeah. the whole miracle being a wedding and what a wedding is, yes. you know, indication of and, and who, you know, Jesus was. And, yes. You know, just the, the marriage, mm -hmm. all of that covenant. And yes. it was just wrapped so beautifully. Yes. You know, that whole scene, that whole episode. Um, 
that for that to be his first miracle is just like, mm-hmm. man, it's like how um, intentional. Yes. Was the father. Yes. With how that, how that story um, unfolded. Yes. Um, and, and, you know, just his plans is yes for that to happen. What I didn't want to miss also too, uh, and we kind of got to pass it, but I did want to bring it up. Mm-hmm. The payoff from the opening scene mm-hmm. when Jesus says to his mother, if not now, mm-hmm. then when? Mm-hmm. And then when she asked him yeah, to, to intervene the- and turn the water into wine and mm-hmm. do something. Do, he said, well, do whatever he said. Uh, but he was like, it's he not, was my like not my time. Yeah. It's not my season. But she was like, if not now, then when? Please. Oh, <laughs> And the eye co- and please, yeah. like the communication, like that, that mm-hmm. it was absolutely brilliant and beautiful all at the same time. But yeah, that was that was that yeah. was absolutely amazing. I wanna uh I wanna <coughs> show this I wanna show this uh just I am not gonna play it, but I just, just wanna show this the look on her face. Um, as she's, as, after he's performed the miracle, after he's, uh, after he's uh, uh, done the thing, after he's come out uh, as a miracle worker um, and see mm. the joy <laughs> in the room. And you can see this communication in her face, mm-hmm. right? The, this beautiful, and this happens throughout the episodes. Mm-hmm. Throughout the episodes, you'll see this look, this communication between mm-hmm. mother and, and son mm-hmm. in this moment. And she's excited that he's finally come forth mm-hmm. in his season. That's a powerful thing right there. Mm-hmm. That 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 was amazing. Yeah. Well, man, that's 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 the wedding. That's the gift. Yeah. That's the wedding gift. Man. Uh if you if you're enjoying this. Man, please give us a like, uh, give us a follow here on Facebook as well as YouTube. Uh, we got more to go, man. This, these are great, great, engaging conversations. Hopefully, um, you're being blessed. Hopefully, you're you're growing from this, and it's uh, it's giving you a love again uh, to read the Word and get into it and dive deep into it to get to know our Savior even the more and get to know the story of Jesus and to acquire a biblical literacy. Listen, thank you guys so much for joining us. Listen, next week, we're back. We're back. Oh, my brother is in the building. What's happening, my brother? Daryl Tao is in the building. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. Amazing, amazing, amazing time in the Word. Listen, next week, we're episode six. We're going further. We're going deeper. So homework. Uh, for uh, till we meet again on next week, uh, episode six. What's episode six, baby? What's the what's the title of episode six? It it, it was powerful. Uh, episode six, I believe, is. Let me pull it up. Episode six is in this. I think it says indescribable compassion indescribable compassion. That's going to be a good one. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a good one. Uh, so uh, if you haven't already, or even if you have, man, go back and binge watch. You know, most of our, most of our, our viewers and uh, followers are, are, are binge watching. Please, uh, if you have not uh, started your journey and watching The Chosen, go to thechosen.tv. Uh, there is a mobile app in your, uh, there's a mobile app, uh, in the, um, Apple, um, store. Uh, if you have a, if you have an Android phone, I don't know why you would, um, (laughs) (laughs) you can go to the Android store and download it. You can also, uh, go directly to their uh, website and watch it. It's also playing on Netflix. It's also playing on, uh, uh, Prime. Also has uh, also have the chosen app, so you can watch that and just kind of binge watch. You know, uh, I, I we want you to come and join us and sit down, get comfortable. Uh, you know, grab a gra- grab your favorite beverage. Uh, it's nighttime, so pre- preferably not coffee. 
uh, some hot chocolate and some tea and uh, grab your comforter and your Bible and join us next week and uh, engage in a conversation. Jump in the chat and share with us what your observation was and some of the things that you learned as we take this journey to uh, fall in love again with the word of God, uh, to journey back to biblical literacy, right? Uh, so that uh, we can all study to show ourselves approved uh, unto God. First of all, a workman needeth not be ashamed. So thank you for joining us uh, once again. I'm your host. Uh, that's my beautiful wife over there. Ain't she cute? <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining us. Uh, tune in next week. Same time, same channel. We're going to be here 7 p.m. We're going to show up every week uh, as we continue in the discussion. Um, get in your Bibles this week. Amen. <laughs> get in your Bibles this week. It'll bless you. It'll bless you real good. And so uh, thank you again for joining us. If you're here joining us for the first time, uh, give us a like and a follow here on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, there's more to come. Uh, if you're curious about what we're wearing, we're wearing our um, Chosen merchandise, uh, uh, also available on ChosenTV.TV, uh, the Chosen.TV. Uh, you can get their merch there. Uh, we're tilled out tonight, uh, and we're excited about it. And so we'll be back again next week. Uh, tune into Episode 6, and we'll talk about it. Uh, write down um, the things that you saw, uh, things that you learned, and let's come back again next week, uh, same time, same channel, and we'll do it again. Love y'all. Bless y'all. All right. Good night. Thank Good you. Night. I wish I had some music. I'm going to get some movies out here. You love the <laughs> colors, too. Amen. See y'all next week. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>